Good evening. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's having a fun time. Because that's what life's all about. Fun times, right? And treating people the way you want to be treated. That's important. Yep, totally important. You gotta, you gotta treat people the way you want to be treated. And destroy cockroaches. Really important. You gotta destroy cockroaches. I mean, otherwise, just it's terrible. So today, we are going to play more Resident Evil Survivor 2 Code Veronica. How far are we going to get? Don't know yet. But, sure, you know? Make sure we got everything set up here. Okay. It's not really set up. It's mainly I didn't post stuff yet, so... Let's do that somewhere, I guess. But okay. If the music gets too grating, I am going to change it. Now, let's see here. Isn't that nice? It doesn't even take us to a demo scene screen. It just flat out takes us here. I sound different. Oh. Nope. What in the world? Oh, I hate this kind of stuff. Okay, so... Earlier today, I was playing around. There we go. Oh, hi. Hi there. Now, first things first. We're just gonna check something. Because I think the people that have been any percenting this game, they just played on very easy. Let's see how much damage we actually do when we're on very easy. Probably a lot more. Yep. Tons. Tons and tons and tons and tons. And tons and tons and tons. Arcade mode. Is that loud enough? Mm. Oh. No. I think that's good. Okay. We picked Steve. This way we can get more of those cool criticals. Cool critical combos. Cautiously. As an orange tabby cat sits in front of my monitor. Now one of the things we want to get is the gems. We need those. Um, the files, we don't really care too much about. Okay. Oops. What are you doing? Uh oh. Oh man. Do I have to restart? I hate to restart. Nope. Okay. We're good. So far. Hmm, let's change back to here. See if we can time these critical hits. That was critical. That was critical. Critten. Yeah. That's what we want. See, look, he doesn't do as much damage. I mean, right? This is fine. Got to get used to the critical system again, but that's that's okay.
Okay, let's go over here. We must get the gems, because otherwise we'll just fight Tyrant, and we won't be able to fight Nemesis. And we want to fight Nemesis. Oh, sweet. I think she saved my bacon there. That was very nice of her. Thanks, Claire. Sorry about that. No, no. Level S. Instruction A. Execute. All personnel evacuated. <laughs> Biohazard contamination detected. Level S. Okay. Instruction. Um, I watched somebody play this. Well, I didn't watch. I just, like, looked at the video. 28 minutes to beat this, right? Oh, yeah. And they definitely were either on easy or very easy. They didn't have the ally, which is fine. Look at this. No wonder it didn't take him long. Is it cheap? Yes. Do I care? No. Well, don't judge me, cat. Did you hear that? That was the cat. And he voiced his opinion. He's probably like, you're talking too much. You just need to be petting me. And let me sleep on your desk. Hey, as long as you don't press buttons, you're fine, bud. Okay. Aww. Now apparently, sidestepping makes you go fast. You diagonal, apparently, makes you go faster. Don't know. Okie dokie. Onward. Ah, spiders? Nope, 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 nope. I think possibly some aspects of easy and some aspect of harder difficulties like bleed into the dungeon part because killing the spiders in that. Ah, no. Killing the spiders in that. Like, you get their thorax, whatever their butt is, and, um, and then it's just their eight legs, and they still spit venom at you. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, not having their butt doesn't make sense, but, you know, video game logic. Who needs their butt, right? Good job on getting that key. You're so super. Oh, man. Go us. Yay. Second boss fight. The hunter that's a butt. Nice, but we didn't get no damage, um, but that's fine. That's not really our goal. Our goal is to get through this and fight Venom. No. Venom is not even in this game. That's Marvel. So I don't know why I said that. 
Titan. Titan's the guy. Or, shoot. Tyrant and Nemesis. We want to fight Nemesis. I'm not tired at all. Nope. We were popping off criticals last night. Like, they were going out of style. It was awesome. Okay, apparently this actually was a uh, arcade game on the Sega Naomi system. Oops. The thing is that, uh, oh, we still have that. Um, they never really decided to have this to be a U.S. game, which is why I'm playing the PAL uh, PAL version. Is because there's not a U.S. version, so thank goodness to soft modded PlayStations that can do region free. That's all I gotta say on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got this. We can do this. We're Steve Burnside. We're never seen after this game. And if we keep it up, we're never gonna be seen again. Oh, well, I guess we see him in, uh, you know, Dark Side Chronicles, but that's the same as this, right? Like... Oh, that health did so much. That was that was amazing. Thanks, game. I really appreciate it. Eh. Playing on very easy. I'm probably just like, you know what? You're playing on very easy. You have to deal with it. Suck it up, Buttercup. You don't get to heal as much. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that was cool. Now let's go get the key upstairs and go from there. Man, I bet with a gun con this would been so cool. You shoot that guy in the middle and it'd explode. You'd just be like, yeah, look at that, I'm awesome. But, we don't have that, and another thing, does it follow the gun con? That would be so cool. Well, there's one way to find out, but I don't feel like messing with it yet. But we could. We gotta check it out on the emulator and use the mouse for the gun con. Possibly. On the plus side, we're making decent time here. I think the last run we did, Nemesis was going to show up way before we got to this game. Okay. Get that giant map on the screen. Contamination Although it is pretty cool. To see the uh, map. Like a 3D representation of the map. Biohazard contamination detected. Level S. Instruction A executed. 
All personnel, evacuate immediately. No, 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 no. Biohazard contamination detected. Level S. Get out of my way, dang it. I said dang it. I did not say the other one. I know it sounded like I said the other, but I did not. Because that would be wrong. We don't say stuff like that. Haha, <laughs> I missed. Okay. Here we are. Level three, boss. Nah, we don't care. Skip. You know, after playing this game, I'm... As I was saying, after playing this game, I kind of want to play, uh... How's the dead? Dang, banner snatches down here are a lot more powerful than. Just keep shooting. In my chest. Ah, oh, Jill passed out. I mean, Claire passed out. That's fine. Clearly, we're not getting the no damage bonus. <laughs> A, as in, awesome. Next up, private residence. Impatience. Don't care. Fire! Well, so I don't think the dungeon thing was part of the original the arcade game. I think they added that as... Exclusive on the PlayStation 2. You've seen it in the arcade, now play it at your own home. Resident Evil Survivor. And yes, I did say Ever, because, you know, it's Ever. <laughs> Resident Evil Sur Gun Survivor. Code 2 Veronica. We're just going to put a bunch of names together. Unless you live in the States, and then too bad, so sad. Go get the Dino Crisis one. No, go up the stairs, dork. Now, we do not need that health. We just need to run. Nope. Don't care. Don't care at all. We got this. We can do this. This is what we've trained for. Being a survivor. Code Veronica. Two. You suck so much. There we go. We got a critical on it. Nothing redeemed from that. Just, you know... What's weird is we've seen health kits, but we have not seen a single first aid spray. Wouldn't that be neat? Yeah, I okay, guess we'll... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I deserve that. This is intense. I like the flash of lightning. That was a good ad, you know? Flash of lightning. Very, very frightening. 
And then here we are in here for some reason. I don't know. Can't jump up in the air. Oh. Well, we didn't get the no damage on this one either. I am annoyed that there's no health bar for it, but eh. so weird. You can't go through the boxes like you think you would. You think you'd be able to sidestep it? No. Remember, this is actually being played off of PlayStation 2. There's no emulator being used. This is my PlayStation 2 fat running this game through an M Classic and a Retro Tink M. That way it upscales it to 4, or it converts it to 480p with the Retro Tink M. Oh! And I forgot, because I have to plug these. Not really. I don't have to plug any of this crap, right? But at least you'll know my setup. Is the cables I'm using are the HD Retrovision cables, which actually do give good color and everything. So I was quite impressed. Because sometimes they, the, you know, the component cable can be crap. Uh, the best ones are these HD Retrovisions. And then the official PlayStation 2 component cables. Let's fight! She keep hitting her. Don't let her use her blood magic. Ah! Definitely don't let her touch you. If she touches you. Toast. Like that. Look at that. She is giving you a certain type of slap. As if you owed her money. Okay. Now, sadly, she is not the last boss. Um, if you don't get all the gems, it's just Tyrant. I know. Um, so buy him now, right? And how are you doing, Silver Apocalypse? Basically, oh, and you can only buy him through the system, apparently. You can't go through the website anymore, which sucks. And buying it on the system is a pain, so I don't know what people are going to do. Well, I mean, I know what some people can do. Not everybody. Okay. Get that. You need that. Okay. Here we go. The Vita store closing is saddest, I think, because there were still indie developers making stuff and, like, putting it on the store. Who knows what they're going to do. Um, we'll take the shotgun. No, no, no. We'll do this. There we go. Heal. Time to fight, Tyrant. Oh, that's cool. I, um... I need to sign up for mine. What's surprising is that the little sheet that says if you're an essential employee did not say ISP is a essential job. But... Uh, oh, shoot. It's 
See, I knew changing the difficulty would be better. My goodness. That normal mode was brutal. Ruh row. Look who's there. Let's get rid of that thing once and for all. Oh, shoot. Oh. Dang it. Don't let him touch you. And don't let him hit you with the rocket. What? Oh, nice. Chew on that. He's putting his guns up like he's... <laughs> okay. Oh! Let's get out of here! Quick, quick! Yeah, you're... You're right. Bonus stage, we get to fire from a VTOL. Move aside, sis. What a... Nah. Now you just broke it and it went back down. <laughs> okay. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that in title. Resident Evil Survivor 2 Code Veronica Project. I hope with your second shot that you don't have any side effects. My parents did it. They didn't have any side effects, which was good. Because my dad has COPD, so... It's definitely good he got the shot. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nope. We didn't. Yeah, that's good. We still got an S rank. And we didn't die. We got seventh. Probably because our score wasn't the best. Which is fine. Also, we played on very easy, so. No. But now the AI should be slightly better when we play. And then when we do it again... Yeah, that'll do it for you. I don't know about you, but I've been dealing with allergies, so, like, the whole... Getting that shot, I'm just... Yeah. I will not play... Oh, it'd be so nice if they remade it. I will not play Versus Roach. We've already done it once. Hold on. We're gonna take a short break while I go get something to drink.
And we're back. Thank you for holding. Sadly, I had no music queued up this time. Let's get back in it. Resident Dungeon. Evil. Dungeon mode is nice, kind of. Little missions. I think we're gonna try to get all the jewels. This says from the house, but it's still the clock tower. And we'll just take all of them, why not? There's no penalty in taking all of them. But your ammo goes across missions, so... Oh! Right off the bat! The camera doing that business is annoying. Cat interference. Never fun. Oh, you've moved. Okay, fine. Like down over here. Good. So we have to find gemstones. If we don't find all the gemstones, we have to backtrack. Ah. The little chime noise is it indicates that we could get a weird thing. The problem is trying to get that critical hit just right. And the game auto aims down for us. Which kinda sucks. But it's okay. If they remade Code Veronica, I would love for them to th include this as, like, a little bonus. Just, hey, look. You get... ...to play Resident Evil 2 Survivor 2 Code Veronica. And that ending in Code Veronica was pretty neat, except for the fact that self-destruct was... ...the word Veronica. I... It's like, you know, kind of a herder moment. <laughs> we called it Code Veronica because that's the self destruct code. Bitch didn't see that coming. Oh, and Tully wasn't named because the whole research and stuff now. Nah. Or the T Veronica virus? Nah, it was it was all because of that self-destruct code. Ah, nice. Handgun ammo. Ah, we can't blow up that. That's fine. Oh my gosh. go this way. If we go that way, we're basically at the end of this floor, but if we go this way, we can search for that gym, and that's what we need, so at least I remember that part of this map. Hi. Right. Nice. That's not very nice. I bet I'd like this better if I could aim up and down on my own. But, you know, this did come out in 2001, and that was 
the early times of first person shooters on consoles that we're in a 3D plane. I mean, because we had stuff, right, like, on the PS1, but they weren't witchy, I guess. I don't know. They were still working it out. Eventually, companies came out with a good control scheme for this. This kind of tries, but... You know, you can't, you can't look up and down. And that's what we need. We need to be able to look up and down. Okay, let's make sure we didn't miss anything. I think that's the only gym on this floor. I think each floor has a gym after the first two. Nope. Yes. playing a game like this I'm reminded of so many uh, just like when I was playing Survivor so many fun first-person shooters that were so cheesy on the PS1 which really makes me think maybe I should be playing some of those at some point in time And somebody reminded me about Disaster Report, so there's always hope for that game. Either way, I've got more ideas of what's going to happen after Parasite Eve. Maybe by then I'll have a computer and we can play um, Third Birthday without too much to slow down and stuff. Of course, that PSP emulator does work pretty good, so... Who knows? We'll see. Either way, we are just gonna enjoy this game. Okay. Um, I don't like the cockroaches. They sound bad. They're gross. Two is the wrong gun, but that's fine. Boy, they were really hardy, weren't they? Now let's think. I came out that door. That door is connected to the thing. So, in theory, we gotta go this way. I don't know if I'll do all the missions in this game. Wait. Really? Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh. 
I like how they included these because of that one puzzle. The one standalone puzzle that was actually pretty cool. I can understand why I like Steve's guns better now. Also, Steve is really cool with the guns because he looks away from when he's shooting. But not in like he's scared to shoot, but in a... Yeah, I'm not looking because I'm that cool. Well, that's the wrong way. This door over here we went to, so let's go this way. Hope we found all the gems so far. Because if not, then... Yikes. Okay. Oh, we can't get the bow gun. That's fine. These rooms basically are all the same, like, layout in the different places, apparently. I don't know about the cave. I think the cave even might be pretty much the same. I do like that, though. What? No. I need to find my other controller. This one keeps doing that. But... Okay. getting on the wall there. Okay. The next level, if it plays the same song like the next mission in the cave, I am just gonna stop playing the audio in this game. And I'll pull up stream beats and we will just have chill music or rock playing or something because this is the same song over and over again. Oh. We did not get it fast enough. That's fine. And this really would have been a good side thing for, like, Code Veronica X. I code Veronica X exclusively on the Pizza Bot system, which doesn't exist, obviously, but buy it exclusively on our console, and you'll get the critically acclaimed by this one guy that we know plays arcade games. 
Resident Evil Survivor Code 2 Veronica. Oh wait, I messed that up. Shoot, I already messed it up. Oh. Resident Evil Survivor 2 Code Veronica. And the code's in all caps, so you know it's intense. This game came from my favorite era generation of consoles. And I don't know why, because I wasn't like a kid when this system came out. I was an adult when the PS2 was out. I don't, I don't know why I really like PS2. I mean, because there are other systems that came out since then, the Xbox. Uh, one is pretty good. Like, Microsoft's really kicking butt, I think, right now. Oh, I wasted that opportunity. But, uh, I just think that uh, this was a huge mistake. I'm gonna get you. Count them bullets. Um, that was kind of rough. I mean, the PS3 had some good games. Xbox 360. Oh, shoot. That's not cool. I don't know which ones I've missed. You know what? No. It shows you how many, but it doesn't show you which ones. So we will need to regroup on that one. Resident Evil. Okay, let's go underground. And we're gonna play as, uh, Mr. Steve. Because I like his guns. And let's see here. I'm trying to pull up a map. Dungeon mode is a PS2 exclusive. That's neat. Okay. 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 Don't push my mic, buddy. Quit. We're not going to take the Panzerfaust. Panzerfaust can stay. Here we go. Oh, different music. Thank goodness. First room down. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, 
love the coins. So nice. This cave reminds me of Kingsfield. That's a fun one. Shoot at the light. Jeez. I mean, come on. Why make it difficult? Interesting. I had the grenade launcher out, whoops. Nice, I scored a critical on a, uh, on a bat. That's right, there's these little holes in the walls. to do that. Fine. Whatever. Eventually, we'll find the elevator, and then... We get to fight the worm. Am I annoyed? Am I annoyed by the fact there's no map? No, not at all. Cutie ah. zombies are annoying. Oh my gosh, really? Well, at least we got this. along in the caves of 
daring do, doing dares, or something. The last time I played on this map, I went in like a big circle. Before finally finding the room. Let's hope that's not the case here. These caves are as annoying as Silent Hill Shattered Memory. Oh. Silent Hill Shattered Memory stuff. Where you must dodge monsters without weapons and go through the right door. You have to do it all over. Nice! Here we go. We're at a good spot. Well, I said we were at a good spot, but we're not. But I believe in myself. And that's that's enough for me. Yep. Here we go. I think, I think this is it. I think this is the worm. Please be the worm. It is. Okay, hold on. 39 was the start. Ah, map time. Okay. We're in room 28. Okay, I know where we're at now, I think. Yes, yes, I see where we're at. The map is so weird in this walkthrough. I, I don't get it, but whatever. We can't use the elevator until we kill this worm. <laughs> you can't even reload your weapon. Which... Is oh! Poop. Game over. <laughs> oh my gosh. He was eaten by a worm. Okay. We will try with Claire this time. Jeez. We're taking that to shoot the worm. Okie dokie. So far, so good, but we just started, so. Can't carry any more weapons, but that's fine. We have the manual over there. I don't know what that means, but. Whatever. No. Now the worst part is, I can't transfer my save game 
right now at least, from here to the computer to try this, but we might. Claire is not having a good time with this, my goodness. What is, what is going on here? Oh, I went through the door before I could get the green herb. That's gonna cost me. <laughs> and I think the actual, like, spawning of loot, goodies, whatever, from things is random. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, nice. It's still there. That sucked. We're not... We're not gonna tempt that guy. Okay. If I go this way, yeah, we're good. Gotta love maps that were made in ASCII. ASCII maps are the best, man. That's not where I put the thing. That's where I put it. Give me just a few seconds of setting something up here. PC X2. Well, let's go this way. That wouldn't stop. This is not a 64-bit application. Huh. That's news to me. Didn't know that. Kill Streamlabs, we'll be good. Ah.
Nice. We are on the right path here. Let's not get stuck in this sludge stuff. There we go. Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch had a green arrow. Nice. Internal resolution, 1080p. Okay. Okay, we will deal with that shortly. Let's try the worm again. Maybe it won't beat us. Nah, that wasn't very fun. Last time we played as Claire and this worm was around, I got hit by a rock. It didn't do as much damage as the worm attack. Yeah, that's not good. Drop a goodie, please. Uh, nothing. Okay. We hope for goodness, but sometimes you get nothing but a rock, like Charlie Brown. See, look, you shoot off its butt. And it still attacks you. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Cat, you are stretching and you're causing the thing to move. You can't do that. Um, yeah, no, we're, we're, we're gonna run. That seems to be a infinite, um, spider tube. And that's creepy. Bandersnatch. Well, at least now we're inside you know, something. We're in a garage. Great. Well. See, I thought the underground meant that we're just gonna have a bunch of... Ooh, a warning door. That's always positive.
Oh yeah, we did get over here. Fun. This is fine. Everything is normal. <laughs> See, I'm annoyed by the fact that my timing isn't as good as it was last night. Last night I was rocking with those critical hits. Today. Oh, uh, okay. And that was that. Game over. I mean, this isn't canonical, canonical, whatever. This is just Capcom making some arcade game, which we've played through. We can do it again. Doesn't take too long. Pop up. Okay. Good, good. Whoa, whoa, cat, stop. You've you've been a nuisance. Seriously, dude. No, oh, let's go back. No, you can't press circle, you have to press triangle. Have we got any more secret reports since we did it? No. Okay. Well, let's check out that one again. Lockfort Island. I thought it was Rockfort Island. Do 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 do. Here's a brief report on what happened. On what we have found so far. Our undercover agents have yet to crack the identity of the spy working for HCF. However, based on the D files obtained in Geneva, we are certain he is on Lockfort Island. And has gained full access to all areas of personnel. Our men have been on the case for three months now, and I assure you this matter will be dealt with swiftly and quickly once we have identified our target. Our sources informed us that he has joined forces with our enemy, plotting some sort of offensive attack. Few details are known. Well, let's see here. At this time, we do know that they have succeeded in duplicating the prototype. Given the new urgency of the situation, I have taken the liberty of sending you a special gift. Nemesis Type T. The latest B.O.W. was created in the States. And it set the world on fire with its performance in Raccoon City. Since everything is ab about it is completely confidential, including its budget and inventory controls. There will be no shipping record. The package is hidden in, amongst other materials in a routine shipment. 
All evidence of this transaction must be destroyed with the utmost discretion, and any knowledge, knowledge, knowledge of it will die with you and me. B.S. Nemesis T is programmed to set loose once an emergency is detected. There is no other way to activate it. Regard it as a talisman, and use only as your last resort. Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Um. So that's different, right? Mouse. I don't want mouse. I want gun con. How can I do the gun con? Okay. We don't have an intermission screen, do we? Hmm. Don't switch. No demo music or anything, just flat out nothingness. Well, let's do the other one, and I'll try to read it. I don't like that she can't control, like, the pace of the file. I like the way it looks, though. This is so nice. And it'd be nice if they kept that up. Look at that. There's even redacted stuff in there. Okay. Well, we're gonna let that play for just a little bit. <laughs> As I look for this. Okay. Please work game capture. Okay. Enough of that. I don't know how this is going to fare. I don't care. We're into it. Are you not gonna go? Fine. Here we go. Now, you'll notice less judder because we're playing on a emulator, but let's do it again. I apparently can't use um, the gun con as a mouse, which sucks. And I'll put it to easy this time. Jeez, that's loud.
Um, move the mixer. There we go. So. Residence. Let's try our luck again and beat the game. Why not? We'll play as okay. Steve. Our next stream will be the start of Resident Evil Remake. The first one. Played on the PC because I don't feel like setting up the Wii and playing it through the GameCube. Okay. Here we go. Oh, what a difference playing on the, uh, what's it called makes compared to the other. Goodness. Like, I had it prepared so that we could check this out. I just didn't have the emulator installed, so. Now, here's the issue. This is at a higher frame rate because, you know, it actually can support it, right? But at the same time, you know, it just doesn't feel right to me. This feels wrong. Not completely wrong, but just it, it doesn't feel the, the same. That's okay. You know? One of the things that I've been doing on stream is playing games at the same time through different systems. Yes. Yes. I've, I've beaten it. Uh, I have not beaten the PC version. I beat the GameCube version like a long time ago. So. Um... We're gonna start with that. I don't know if I'm gonna use different costumes or not, but we're we're gonna we're gonna do that. I just wish I could find a way to like, emulate the gun cons, like, like, move a mouse here and be like, yeah, check this out. Contamination detected. Level S. However, I did not research that beforehand, so... This is more or less just, a uh, look at how it could've looked. You know, if they re-release this, stop scale. I mean, the textures look really good on the PS2. It is, except for, um, I do not remember how to get past certain parts, so it should be a trip. I'm so glad this game is simple, so just I don't need to really do much to get it to run. And I look forward to RE1 Remake, and then we'll do RE0 after that, because that's the next one that re was released. I'm just not playing the GameCube versions, because I don't think there's really a point when... I know, and that night puzzle where you uh, 
have to have like the right item or whatever. I forgot how to beat that. I do remember there's a room with a mirror, and I love the fact that like even when I played it again, I shot the zombie as if they were standing in the right spot. It was awesome. Oh man. For what it's worth, this game was a great arcade game. You know, this game should be re-released. You know, Nintendo, they've been putting Japanese games on the, on, you know, classic Nintendo and classic Super Nintendo stuff, right? So why can't they, why can't Sony follow suit? Just be like, yeah, here's the PAL version, but since everybody has, you know, your PS4 is on HDMI and your PS5 is on HDMI, it won't really matter on that. And make it look like this. I mean, because there was no effort on my side. I turned on Ant anthropic filtering and anti-aliasing. I no, not even anti-aliasing. Just up the resolution, right? So I don't know how to set those fancy things. Yeah, yeah, they should remake it. I mean, it is cool that you can play the PS2 Classic on the PS4. It'd really be nice if they had a native um, native one. Who knows? Who knows what Capcom's gonna do next with uh, everything? And I should have gotten healed. Twisted Metal and Dino Crisis are also great, great things that should be ported. And it's not like players are asking for much. The people who want to play it, they would buy it. And they just want the game again. I mean... For Dino Crisis, I just want that game. In... 1080p with better textures. That's all. I don't need... You know real-time ray tracing and all that just better trace don't change the gameplay make it like they used to make the HD remasters on the ps2 I mean the ps3 just decent not having as much bugs apparently they updated a patent with regards to emulation and trophies, so who knows what they're planning. I know Capcom and these other... Capcom and Konami stand to milk people for money. Yeah, Jim Sterling. I don't agree with everything he says. But I mean, he he has had good time, good good things that I've you know agreed with, and then sometimes he just has some crap takes that I'm just not a fan of. But that's fine. I won't be like, I'm not going to listen to it anymore. I haven't watched him lately. But, I probably should. Just... Just because it's, you know, informative. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the problem with, I think, with Sony right now is... The execs are not people that play games. Clearly. Um, just like Nintendo, who was like, who'd want to watch somebody play a game online? You know? Streaming is weird.
I want to play old games because the old games were good. And people are willing to pay for it. I mean, look at the PS2 two classic games. It's the... People buy those. I wonder how well the PS2 class or PS1 classic sold, right? Like, and I don't think they even really take into consideration the fact that people took the time to mod it and everything, so they could play more PlayStation One games. Well, I mean, I I have the emulator so that I can do stuff like this. Because I still have my PS2. Which can play PS1 games, but it does not do too well on some games. Like, graphically, so... Yeah, Sony... doesn't really care too much about the emulator scene. Um... Clearly, they embodied it, just like Nintendo, who said that running an emulator, not even with regards to a ROM, but just having an emulator is illegal. And then you get the Nintendo Classic and the SNES Classic. Both of them have their own emulator, and the games from... Uh, that Mario thing emulated. So. I mean, Microsoft did it right, I think. Oh, well, you know. Um. There. Are, well, with the memory card slot not working, that that's an issue. With the FAT, though, if you got a hard drive, you'd have to image it and get a network adapter, which you can buy network adapters nowadays that um, can take SATA hard drives. Like, the network adapter I have in here has a SATA hard drive. And then you can use memory card that way. Of course, if you get a network adapter that works, you can, uh, you know, use that. If you're slim, if they can't read the discs, you actually still could probably get away with um, playing some games, but you'd have to do your own Google Foo to find out about soft modding. Yes, yes it can. Um, the X, it's it's actually apparently you could probably get away with it on the um, the Xbox One and the Series S and everything, and the Xbox One X. There's the developer mode. You pay twenty bucks, and then you can sideload uh, UWI, which is the Windows Store stuff. And you can use an emulator on it for PS2 games. And it works really nice, apparently. I, I saw a modern video game classic, or whatever it is. There's a YouTube channel. And it's this guy who is a developer, who still develops things. Um, he talks about stuff like soft modding and you know, the, the viability of you have a modded Xbox. What, what's the benefit nowadays, right? And he, he had a video about that. I kind of was thinking about getting a Series S, you know, the three hundred dollar model, and <laughs> dropping two hundred or twenty bucks to use the emulator.
But then I realized that I could just get a new computer with a better GPU and really rock out. So. One thing that I've thought about recently in doing this and just like in the last couple years, I don't really care about the, the softening of textures. I don't care for it. Like, on here, I, I didn't look for anything for the sharpness. I just changed the resolution to be higher. When I played Gun Survivor, or Gun Survivor, Survivor, and when I was playing, like, um, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, I just upped the resolution. I, I didn't add filtering. Yeah, I, I like the, the graininess of the old textures and stuff. Granted, there are some games I'd love to see, like, that have better graphics, but overall, I just, you know, want to be able to play the game and have it look like it used to. Yeah, well, and that's it, it's what they had. It's what they worked with. You know, they designed it with that graininess in mind. Some games have not aged too well, but other games, like those, uh, like the Resident Evil games, those pre-rendered scenes just look amazing. How they were. Unless you can find somebody who used an AI to upscale them. Oh, dang it. It just doesn't make sense to me to mess with them. But I mean, Code Veronica on the GameCube with the resource back then was nice. And heck, this game. Well. Take care, Silver Apocalypse. You have a nice night. Okay, here we go. We're gonna find a big old spider. I am so surprised that I've gotten this far with... Um, Oh, nice. Just keep doing this. Just keep doing this. No, 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 no. Aww. That was a letdown. I am disappointed. And my day is ruined. Not really, but, you know. Enough to the point that I'm just like, eh. Good use of that first aid kit. We're gonna do this. We're gonna beat this game again on easy. I don't care. I really don't. This was more just kind of a little break, I'd say. Much like, um,. Doing the raid mode. The raid mode's cool though, so. Now, unless I can get the gun con to work with this. You know, I, I don't think I'm gonna play it after today. And even if I can get the gun kind of work, I might just record it and put it on YouTube and be like, look at this! 
Look what we missed out on. Now to fight Blood Magic McGee. I can't believe you can't play as Chris right now. I mean, you can if you do all the missions, but... Otherwise, you are stuck with Steve and Claire. Here we go. We're gonna find Nemesis again. Welcome to the airport. Shortest level in the game. Make sure you get that gemstone. Or it won't be the same. You've got a shoot for the bad guys. Destroy all the crates. Chopper explosions, hey, it's really great. Run, 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 run. So they ported an arcade game to the PS2 and only released it in Japan and Pow -tail territories, which kind of sucks. Oh, that was a special med kit. Too bad it doesn't resurrect Claire, but that's fine, because we still gotta continue. So, when we get beamed in the face by this thing... Oh, gosh. Let's kill that thing and get out of here. Got it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ow. Shoot. Nice! Down he goes. And it hurts him a lot, because he has no butt. Hello. Nope. Oh. That should be my ringtone, whenever somebody calls me. And the Linear Launcher, which apparently Nemesis is way hardier than Queen Ant Lady. Game over for you, Nemesis. Yeah, we did it. Congratulations. You've played through the game again. S rank. Oh. Shucks, we only got 8th instead of 7th. That is unfortunate. But hey, we got to experience the game in a different medium. Even though we don't have the gun con part. That's fine. Partner level increased. Select in the option menu. Yeah, sure. So, as our final thing to do in this game, just because I picked the wrong gosh darn thing, we will play the dungeon one more time. Resident we beat the arcade mode. That's the main mode. The dungeon is kind of like a side thing. It's kind of like mercenaries mode. Or battle. Ready. Run. Whatever. Let's go. So, it might be one of those things where when I'm bored, I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to go play. 
Otherwise, I don't see myself revisiting this game ever. The replayability just isn't there for me. And these missions... I mean... Okay, if I could aim better... You know, if... I could just... Dang it. I have a feeling that... The gun con just makes a world of difference, and maybe I'll look into that. But we're gonna do this, and then that will be it. And then the next time, we'll play Resident Evil 1, the remake. On the PC, not on the game. I'm not doing that. Shoot. I'm not getting the med kit. I mean, it heals you, it gives you coins, but I just don't care. You know, I mean, bouncing coins. Wouldn't it be neat if this actually was a currency that you could use? Like, uh, yeah, you got a hundred coin thingies. Now you can get this weapon. Congratulations. Unless it actually does that and the game just didn't explain it to you. I don't know. Again, I'm partially bitter because I want to use the gun gun and I can't. I don't think I can. I mean, this is an not an LC. I mean, this is an LCD monitor. Also, I have to see if I still have it. I might have traded the thing in. And I did not have this game at that time. I got this game later on. So, what's that? It looks nice and stuff, you know? It's very uh, gray. Yeah, that's a good word to use. It's gray. It's very gray. No, it's foggy. There we go. You can't carry any more weapons. Gone. Pause the weapons. Take it that side pouch. Mm. Oh, that combo thing is a multiplier for your score, too. It's not just a, like, this is what you get. This is completely... That's cool. You can't carry any more weapons. Nice. One of the missions is to get 60. And clearly, if you needed to get 60, you'd have to do loops or something unless they actually add more zombies to fight but I'm not sure if they do. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Roach room. We just have to get to that boss fight. That's cool. We can't carry any more weapons, even though you already have one. You don't stack, though.
Oh, that thing is actually the same color as the floor. That's mean. Why would they do that to people? I mean, I can see it in the main game, right? I just totally mess you up. Don't care. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, that that was sweet. This game knew what I needed. Man, it was like, here you go. Enjoy your healing item. Noob. So after playing this, I really want to play like Doom or Quake. And I can't. Well, I mean, I can, but it'd be off stream and I should probably go to sleep soon. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to sleep yet. I will probably research something for us because we need to see if we can use the mouse as a gun con. As there are some other Um, son of a gun. It was right there, I bet. I bet that's the one I missed, was right there. Oh well. Um, I don't know. This is an okay game. I am not gonna spend 12 hours on this. We any percented it. We did the arcade mode. That's what we came here for. This mode is just extra. Also, we totally beat the versus Roach, and I haven't even touched that today. So. You imagine how cool that mode is with a gun con? Shooting all them things. Now I do like the actual version compared to the emulator because the chain looked a lot better in the actual version than this. But you know, sometimes you just gotta go with the emulator. When we play Umbrella Chronicle, though, I definitely can shoot at my screen because the Wii is not the same type of controller. So that's awesome. I look forward to that. Congratulations, you got an, <laughs> you got an E rank, which stands for... Economic. A A A A A. Yeah, that's right. My name is A A A A A. No. Oh, yeah, fifty bullets because we didn't get the best rank, which is fine. Apparently, if you get the best rank, you get one hundred and fifty rounds. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. It's been fun. It's been, been real, real fun. Um, but I think that's it for now. I think as you listen to my cat make noises, that the next game we play is going to be Resident Evil. Let's see. Is it installed?
Why, yes, I believe it is. Last played, October 24th, 2018. Wow, shucks. So, I hope everybody has a great night. Um, as always, take